Dear friends, in this video, we'll talk about content fragment versus experience fragment with respect to AEM. What is a fragment with respect to a content management system? A fragment is an editable item from a common location, which can be reused on multiple pages whenever required. Say we have the AEM. AEM provides content fragment. And the content fragment output is exported as a JSON format. And it can have variations. Say we have variation one, and that gets surrendered to a website. We have variation two, which gets surrendered to a mobile. And variation three gets surrendered to a campaign. AEM also supports experience fragment. And remember, these experience fragments are in the form of HTML, CSS, web fragment. Even experience fragment allows variations. Say we have variation one, which is getting rendered to a website, and a variation two, which gets rendered to Facebook, Pinterest, etc. This is the use case of content fragment and experience fragments. As mentioned before, content fragment output is in JSON format and experience fragment output is in HTML format. So both can be rendered to single page applications, native mobile applications, and other channel touch points. Remember, both content fragments and experience fragments give the headless capability to AEM. Headless capability is one of the trending feature in any CMS. Let us see what is the structure of content fragment. A content fragment has a metadata and various elements with its variations. It gets associated with the content, which has DAM collections and uh, image, video, PDF, document, etc. A content fragment output can be rendered as a JSON format. This is one example. So we need to work on content fragments to make it a complete web experience. Now let us see an experience fragment. Experience fragments get served directly to a website or channel. In the left hand side, we can see different experience fragment variations. One set of fragment variations are taken to web, mobile, banners, etc. And the second set are taken to cross channel applications, third party use like Facebook, Pinterest, etc. Now let us see the difference between a content fragment and an experience fragment. A content fragment is used by content writers. Experience fragment is used by authors. A content fragment is structured or unstructured editorial content or a combination of both. But experience fragment is a combination of one or more components, including content and a layout. Content fragment is a text-based content, often long form. But experience fragment defines design and layout of content. Content fragment requires the channel to provide style, layout, and design. Experience fragment can be used as is in channels. Content fragment is implemented as a DAM asset. Experience fragment is implemented as a CQ page. Content fragment supports translation or localization by AEM. Even experience fragment supports both translation and localization. Content fragments can be used in experience fragments via content fragment components. Experience fragments are identified themselves and can be directly pushed to channels. AEM content services can serialize content fragments to JSON for delivery. Experience fragment provides out of the box support for publication to Facebook and Pinterest. Content fragment variations are use case specific, which may or may not align with channels, but experience fragment variations are channel or context specific. Hope this video was helpful to understand the difference between a content fragment and an experience fragment. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe our channel.